Mike, uh, first blush response from you. Uh, the interesting thing about the um, income and spending level, levels, even though uh, we're focused on spending, and spending was revised up in the prior month, so that is good news. Uh, the income numbers driven down by wages. Wages up mm -hmm. only two tenths of a mm -hmm. percent, and that's the lowest in some time. And you would not expect that, given the labor market that we are seeing. So that's an interesting development there. Um, when you look at the spending levels, and let me just bring that up on the, uh, on the computer here. Um, we have been looking for a much bigger gain than we have been getting here uh, from the tax cuts. You can see the green star there. That's when the tax cuts took effect. We had an immediate sort of jump in uh, the month of March, and since then, it's the trend has just been down. Uh, where is the boost from the tax cuts? That, that's uh, the interesting thing, and it does maybe feed into a little bit of the political dialogue because people have said they feel they not, are not getting a big gain, that it mostly went to the rich. It's a powerful point. In fact, the RNC has done their own survey they came up with that conclusion that people don't give uh, them credit for giving middle class support and it's not terribly popular but explain to me we have the jobs numbers coming out on Friday that will have wage numbers how do those numbers square with these numbers do they connect up at all well only partially because the income numbers include every kind of income from Social Security to farm payments proprietors income dividends all kinds of uh, ways that you can get money goes into the personal income numbers uh, so that's why we pull out the wage numbers to see what's been happening with the economy. The others can be very lumpy. Some months you get big Social Security checks going out. Mm -hmm. uh, some months the, the farm uh, support payments go mm -hmm. out. So you kind of have to look past those to see what the trend is.